everybody my first construction program will be to create some skateboard blanks for my daughter so she can create some pictures on her wall so what I've done is taken apart one of my skateboards and used that as an outline and then going to create some blanks from using plywood then what she'll do of course is paint them and then we'll polyurethane them and they'll become pieces of wall art. So I'll take you through the steps of how to do that. So here we have one of my boards. Um, awesome design. This is one of my favourites. But I have just taken off the trucks so I can get to it much easier. She's also asked if she can hang this one up on the wall or use it as a design which is fine by me as long as I get it back eventually. So, what did I do to start off with? Because this is only for a piece of wall art, I've decided to use just 7mm ply. Okay, it's untreated, which means that, of course, it'll only be good for inside. All right, and I have laid the skateboard down on it, and I'm going to trace around the outside. Once I've traced around it, I'm going to cut it out using the jigsaw, moving really slowly as to not create too many splinters. I suggest, I suggest using a jigsaw with a new blade on it, okay, nice fine blade, so you don't get lots of splinters and pieces of plywood being pulled up. Make sure the lines are relatively dark so you can see how they are. I've also just double checked the measurements of the board just to make sure it's nice and even and I have a center point. Okay, so before we start, we need to go to the edge. I'm coming around about one centimeter, 10 mil in from the board outline and then I'm going to rule a straight line using straight edge okay then what I'm going to do is cut along that straight edge so I have a smaller piece of plywood to work with okay really important before we start that you've got your air protection okay also face mask course because we'll be getting bits of plywood will be probably flicking up off that we don't want to be breathing that in and also protective goggles in this case I'm wearing my glasses so I can see much easier okay we're going to secure the plywood to the bench making sure that the plywood is far enough from the edge of the bench that you're not going to cut into your bench as that would be most unfortunate okay as happens quite often in our workshop at school. All right, once that's done, we're ready to start cutting. Okay, once you've secured your board through the clamps, what we're going to do is start on this side and I'm going to make my way around here slowly with the jigsaw staying around about one to two millimeters away from the line because then I'm going to use the sander to sand down there and get a nice smooth finish.
So I've flipped it around and I'm going to go from the other side now. Okay. ready to go so I'm going to use a hand sander now to sand down to those lines okay and then yeah see how perfect we can get it ready to be painted by my daughter Okay guys, so once we've got these cut out, what you want to do then is probably take around about, I'm using here 180 grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to go around the edges of the board, just to take the edge, any possible splinters off, or things like that, because what you don't want doing is any of them catching and ripping off bits of your ply. Okay, especially considering this is construction ply. Okay, it has got lots of imperfections in it, but I tell you what, that's brilliant to work with. Okay, you can always get great results. Of course, like I said, it is not waterproof or being treated. So if you're gonna make, do a painting on it or anything and expose it to sunlight or even to any type of weather, my suggestion would be to polyurethane it, okay, as opposed to varnishing it, okay, that way you'll keep the grain, okay, just take off the pencil marks, and there, we're good to go, so we've got a blank, a surfboard, okay, and here's another one that I did earlier, you can see they are pretty much being on the same okay so this was my original one I did of course I traced around it so this one's slightly bigger by one millimeter but other than that beautiful job all right so now I'm going to send these off to my wife June and Brooke and they're going to do their magic and turn these into pieces of artwork all right hope you've taken a bit of inspiration from that okay all you need is plywood you can use MDF right um, any sorts of uh, wood you've got lying around okay but yeah give it a go on this particular board book took most of her inspiration from Indian designs those associated with henna but also it's a big part of our family culture <laughs> really reminds me a little bit of uh, the legendary Mike McGill boards. As you can see, what she did was draw it onto baking paper and then flip it over and then use the pencil outline to stencil it onto the board. Really simple and effective. <laughs>